Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I am doing a review and comparison of some Rosemary & Co watercolour brushes. So the brushes that I am using today, um, slight disclaimers, some of them are not vegan friendly. There is a mixture of Kalinsky Sable, Sable and Sable Blend, which are all made from animal hair. Uh, there are two types of synthetic brush. Uh, one is the Red Dot series and the second is a golden one, which I will be covering a bit later on in the video. The reason I've bought these brushes is because my local art group had a landscape and seascape watercolour workshop. So the first step that I took in ordering these brushes was to request a catalogue of the Rosemary & Co brushes. And here is the catalogue. Um, I have used Rosemary & Co brushes before. Um, I use them for my miniature paintings and um, for those I use sizes one and smaller so they're very tiny brushes um, whereas these are a lot larger. So the good thing about the catalogue, um, the brushes are two size um, so if I find a random page here we go, squirrel hair. Um, so these brushes are two scale so um, when you're ordering the brushes you can compare the sizes so I've got one here which is a size three and there is the size three. So you can compare the sizes and they are to scale, which is absolutely fantastic when buying them. Um, so when I first started, I bought the, um, uh, the catalogue. This is 2023, which you can just see at the bottom here. Um, they come out every couple of years. Some of them aren't complete. So the best place to find all of them are on the website. I um, did reach out to Rosemary & Co and I um, sent them an email to see which ones they would recommend for uh, watercolours. Uh, they did say that the Kalinsky Sable are the, um, the best brush that you can get and they also um, directed me towards the Red Dot series which are their um, uh, synthetic range. So one of the sets I chose, or the set I chose, was the watercolour botanical set, which is down here. So it's seven brushes. The reason I chose this set is because uh, primarily I prefer uh, small details and botanical paintings to landscapes. So I decided to buy the uh, botanical set and then update with the ones that you can see on the screen. So I bought a mop and a red dot short flat just to fill in the gaps for the landscapes. In order to do a comparison, I also purchased uh, size number three in a Kalinsky Sable, the uh, Pure Red Sable, the Red Sable Blend and the Red Dot, which uh, the latter, the Red Dot, is a uh, synthetic brush. Uh, so when the brushes first arrived, I did have a little go with them um, and the picture that's on the screen now, the swatches, I used a Red Dot number six. To create those. I absolutely loved the brush, it was fantastic, took on a lovely amount of water, didn't let too much on the paper. I was really happy with uh, how things were looking. I then switched to the size number three so I could do these smaller swatches um, for my colour palette and that's where the problem started. I found the brush didn't have a very good point. Um, it seemed to drop a lot of water on the page, almost dump it onto the page. Um, and I had trouble staying within the lines that I had sort of sketched out. Uh, the number three felt a, loss, a lot less responsive than the number six that I was using earlier. I actually preferred to use the larger brush um, and I finished these off with the larger brush for that reason. So these are the comparisons that I did. Um, I started with the red dot number three, which is top left. Um, again, I still had issues with this brush. Um, the water just dumped on the page and went everywhere which made it very difficult to control and it was the last one to dry out of all of them. Uh, again I found it difficult to stay within the lines which you can see compared to the others the edges aren't as neat um, and uh, again it might be the amount of water that was on the paper. It also didn't create as fine lines as the others did uh, when you look at the Sable Blend, the Sable and the Kalinsky their um, lines are a lot finer and a lot, lot neater and they're not as wide as the ones created with the uh, red dot. 
had below the red dot, I repeated the experiment with the number six. Um, it gave a lot better results, although it was a bigger brush, so again, it was harder to control and keep within the lines, but I preferred using the number six again. But this is a side-by-side -side of all the brushes. At the bottom, two are the red dots with the number six at the bottom and the number three just above it. You can tell the shape is a little off with the number three. Uh, it doesn't taper quite like the others above it do. It seems to stay wider for longer and I think that's the reason why um, the, brush, the, the brush is holding all the water and then just dumping it out on the paper. Um, I did speak to Rosemary and Co about it and I, I sent them an email. Uh, after a bit of to and froing, they told me to uh, pop it in water, boiling water for 10 seconds, which I did, but it hasn't made any difference. So I'm kind of writing this particular brush off as a bit of a dud. Continuing the comparison with the other three, I didn't have any major issues with any of these. Uh, the Sable Blend uh, was absolutely marvellous. I, I couldn't say anything bad about it. It created really nice fine lines and uh, the point was brilliant. Uh, the um, Pure Sable I found was a little bit too soft. When I push down, it spread out quite a bit. Um, you can tell from the fine lines, they're a little bit wider than the Sable Blend and the Kalinsky. Um, I just found this brush a bit too soft for my style and my liking. And um, finally, that brings us on to the Kalinsky. Uh, it made some lovely shapes when I pushed all the bristles down, but when I was doing the fine point, I found that the texture in the paper showed through. It was almost too pointy, um, which I know it sounds strange, but I found the point too long. Um, it didn't let out as much water and as much pigment, meaning that the texture in the paper was just a little bit too rough. Uh, this was done on uh, cold press paper. I think hot press paper would actually be perfect with that brush um, and it would create some really, really fine lines, but on the hot press, not the cold press paper. So in conclusion, I found all the brushes to be good quality, apart from the number three red uh, dot, which, uh, as I said, I did have issues with. And I think that's down to the brush rather than me because of the other three brushes were all fine. And the number six was also fine. Um, my favourite out of all of them, I've put down as the Kalinsky Sable provided it was on hot press paper. I did find the point a bit long. Um, my second favourite was the Sable Blend. Uh, I just liked the way it performed. I liked the shapes I got with it and I liked the point. Um, the uh, Pure Sable I found too soft, so it wouldn't suit me, unfortunately. So I went and did a little extra shopping and I bought um, some additional brushes. I uh, bought another red dot so that I could try the same size and see if that made any difference to my testing. The original one is the one with the red tape on which is on the top and the new one is the bottom one and you can see the difference in the shapes in this photo. So the next one I bought was the Kalinsky Sable. Um, the original one is on the bottom and the new one is on the top. The bottom is a Series 8 and I should have bought a Series 33, um, which uh, it, it's not as long as the Series 8. Uh, the Series 3, 33 is the one that is the same as all the other brushes. Um, I also bought a Golden, which is another synthetic brush. Um, so I repeated the test again and I did the same lines, the fine lines, I did the same picture, but I uh, chose a different colour just to make it a bit more interesting. Um, and yeah, I liked the new red dot better than the other one. It was a vast improvement and um, put faith back into that uh, series for me, which was good. The Kalinsky Sable was also much, much better having the shorter, um, uh, the shorter uh, length. It made it a lot easier to do the, the lines and a lot more control. So that was a vast improvement as well. And then finally, the Golden Synthetic. Again, a lovely brush. Um, it's made out of nylon, I believe. And it does feel a little bit more plasticky and a little bit more um, 
springy than um, the red dot. The red dot is uh, a lot more flexible and a lot softer than the golden. Um, I did like the golden, but out of the two, I prefer the red dot because it feels more like a traditional sable brush. I believe the golden would be good for um, acrylics or oil painting. Um, sorry if you hear snoring, my uh, dog is fast asleep in the background. So after doing these uh, second set of tests, my favourite brush is still the Kalinsky Sable and my second favourite was the Sable Blend. Uh, I think the red dot would work as a replacement, but because of the issues I had with the first one, I kind of feel a bit prejudiced against it, although it might work for other people. But um, my choice of brushes would be the Kalinsky Sable and the Sable Blends. I was still impressed with the quality of all the brushes. Um, I've used Rosemary & Co for years and they've always, always been good quality and these are no different. In the past, I have always found their customer service to be excellent and on this occasion they did answer all my questions when I was um, researching the different watercolour brushes. I did have an issue with their red dot brush. Um, when I emailed them and explained it to them, they said they would respond the next day, which they didn't, so I did chase up and then I got the response about dropping it into boiling water, which didn't work. I was a little disappointed over the response regarding the red dot. Um, I felt like they could have done a little bit more there. Um, it won't stop me ordering them in the future. Um, I have actually placed an order for some acrylic brushes, so it hasn't stopped me from ordering um, again. And it, it's a, a brush that's a couple of pounds. So when it comes down to it, it's not a big issue, um, but I felt like they, they could have done a little bit more there. So to summarise and bring this video to an end, I will show you what is in my watercolour uh, pencil case, brush case, brush case, and um, I'll let you see what I finally decided on. So in my brush case, I have a red dot mop size five, a red dot short flat size 14. I then have a gap which I would like, I think, to add in a smaller short flat, but I will practice these with, with these for a while and see where my gaps lie. I then have a Sable Blend pointed round size 10, Sable Blend pointed round size 8. I then have a Kalinsky Sable size 6. I have a gap for a size 4, these are pointed rounds and a size three pointed round. This then leads me onto the botanical set, which are these remaining ones here, these seven. And we have a spotter in sizes four, two, zero, and three, zero. Uh, the spotters are sort of like short and stubby, but with a nice point. Um, I then have a filbert in a four and a two, and a rigger in a size three. And the rigger is a sort of long and pointy brush. Uh, as you can see, it's longer than the pointed round. So this is the pointed round and it's longer than the pointed round in a size three. Um, and those are my final brushes. So there's a couple of spaces uh, left for me to add a couple of brushes to if I want to. Um, and I think I'd like to add a four, but I will see how I get on with these first and uh, fill the gaps if I need to. Um, so this is my, my brushes for watercolour. <laughs>